So today we have the latest and greatest iPhone 16 Pro. And this is the iPhone 16 Pro in black titanium. And today we are gonna be unboxing it. We're gonna look at the key differences between this and the iPhone 15 Pro to see if there's any actual noticeable changes that we can see and ultimately to tell you or let you know if it's worth upgrading or changing your phone at all. So let's have a look. Right, so the iPhone 16 Pro box is pretty much the same as the iPhone box has been for the last few years. It has a to scale size iPhone image on the front of it and then you have to peel off the tabs to get into the box. It's pretty much the same box. They're trying to reduce their carbon footprint. So there's not going to be that much inside and it's not going to be a hugely amazing unboxing experience. But once you remove the tabs, you can open the box and there you have the iPhone 16 Pro in black titanium facing down in all of its glory. And you can see straight away that it's pretty much exactly the same design as the iPhone 15 Pro, with the exception of that brand new camera control button on the side where the action button is. And then you could you remove the screen protector and you can see that the screen is pretty much the same as it was last year. The only difference once you turn this device on is you can see that the bezels are ever so slightly thinner. Other than that, the actual design of the phone is the same. Also in the box, you get this braided USB-C cable as well as a SIM remover tool. And then you also get your usual leaflets and documentation with no Apple stickers. So when you turn the phone on, you can see by looking at it, it is exactly the same design. And then when you compare this side by side with my iPhone 15 Pro, these are both exactly the same with the same color, iPhone 15 Pro on the right and iPhone 16 Pro on the left you can see that they are pretty much exactly the same. They both have that titanium shell, both have USB-C, both have three cameras, thin bezels, and that exactly same color of the black titanium shell. So is there actually any real differences? Well, when you're holding them, the width is exactly the same between these two phones. There is no difference. The width is exactly the same. However, the iPhone 16 Pro is ever so slightly taller, as you can see here. It's only a couple of millimeters. You can't really tell. Okay, so one thing I've noticed here while the new iPhone is setting up is that you can actually see that there is a bit of a difference in size. So these are both the iPhone Pro models. This one is the iPhone 15 Pro. This is my model from last year. And this is the brand new iPhone 16 Pro. And if you were just looking at them from a little bit of a distance, you wouldn't really be able to tell much of a difference between them. They both look exactly the same. They've got exactly the same features. The only real physical difference you can tell is by that camera control button on the side. Other than that, they're both black titanium. They both have more or less the same specs, but when they're side by side like this, you can actually see that the 16 Pro is slightly bigger than the 15 Pro. You can see that you might not be able to see it on camera, but the borders are ever so slightly thinner around the um, edge. So the bezels are a bit thinner, so you get a bit more screen real estate. Additionally, the actual footprint of the phone is slightly bigger. Now you might think that one of the, this is the Pro Max, it's not, they're both the Pro models. So you've got the 15 Pro and the 16 Pro, both black titanium, both 256 gigs, and this one is ever so slightly bigger than the 15 Pro. Now, is it worth upgrading? Is it worth changing? Well, if you've got the 15 Pro, probably not, unless you're absolutely desperate for 4K 120. Other than that, I don't really think you need to upgrade. The only noticeable differences is the 4K 120 and the camera control button on the side. Other than that, the day-to-day -day use of the phone is more or less the same. So if you've got a 14 Pro, 13 Pro or older, then yes, it's a good time to upgrade because you still get the USB-C charging, you still get that, you will get the camera control button on the side, you will get the upgraded 48 megapixel ultra wide camera as well as the 48 megapixel fusion camera and the telephoto, which now can shoot uh, uh, zoom into five times, whereas that was only available on the 15 Pro Max last year. Now you can get it on this camera as well. So you do get some decent upgrades. If you're upgrading from an older phone, it is definitely worth it. However, if this is, if you've got the 15 Pro like me and you're wondering whether it's worth upgrading, there isn't really that much difference. You can tell that the phone is slightly bigger, ever so slightly bigger uh, in the footprint. If you might be able to see it there, they're, they're side by side. The width of them are exactly the same. They're exactly the same width if you put them together. 
but the height, the 15, the, sorry, the 16 Pro is ever so slightly taller, probably by like about three or four millimeters. And the bezels are thinner. You probably can't see it on camera, like I've already said, but the bezels are thinner around the 16 Pro than the 15 Pro. But other than that, there's not a huge uh, amount of change to it. Now, we will be doing some tests on this. We will be testing the iPhone 16 Pro. We will be testing its camera capabilities. We will be testing everything about it. But ultimately, it's not a huge upgrade, really. So what are my initial thoughts on this iPhone 16 Pro? Well, ultimately, I think it's a really, really good phone. It's really nice. It's really good to hold. It, the, it does have thinner bezels around the edge. It is ever so slightly bigger than the 15 Pro. And obviously, we've got that nice brand new camera button, which you may or may not be able to see if my camera focuses up here. But... It is a nice phone, but ultimately, as you've already seen, if you've got the 15 Pro, unless you're desperate for a slightly bigger phone, the camera button and 4K 120, this isn't going to be worth upgrading for you, but it is a still a very good phone. If you're coming from an older phone, it's great. I mean, I said last year about how good the iPhone, this is the 15 Pro now, I said last year about how good the 15 Pro was over the 14 Pro because you've got USB-C, because you've got the thinner bezels, because it was made of titanium, because it was a lighter phone, because it had a lot of new features that the iPhone 14 Pro or older generations didn't have. It was worth getting the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, if you have still got a 14 Pro or a 13 Pro, then the 16 is going to be worth getting because it's a, it's a phenomenal phone. But if you've got the 15, probably not worth it. But we're going to be doing a lot, of, a lot more tests on this, and we're going to be testing out the 4K 120. We're going to be testing out the cameras, the new cameras on it. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to see those videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.